Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create a cell division or cell union effect with the procedural particle system of extra nodes and geometry nodes in Blender 4.3. The setup is really simple and versatile, so you can use any shape for the cells uh, for this effect. So let's get started. Uh, for the shape of the cell, we are going to use a curve. Uh, you can use even a mesh object or the points object. Okay, so we have this curve. Now let's create a heart shape uh, with this curve. something like this so we have this heart shape next we can add a plane so this is going to be a host object for our particles let's add the geometry nodes modifier let's delete this we're going to bring this curve here so let's add that let me hide our original curve object for this we're going to create a simple animation like two hearts are coming close together and then they merge into each other okay so let's add a transform geometry node and then duplicate that so that we have two hearts so let's combine them next we're going to add the mix node and duplicate that for this and here we're going to add the ks time fall of node so we want this animation to be completed in 120 frames so overall frame range should be around 140 let's also connect this to this so in the end we want uh, these hearts uh, merged together at this position and before that this heart will be around at 3 meter and this at the origin so if I run the animation uh, we have something like this ok the next I am going to also add some random motion to this so let's add the set position node then we're going to offset their position using the wiggle fall of node so let's first add the evaluate node because we want this offset at the spline domain not at the point domain then we're going to add the ks uh, wiggle fall off let's connect this to vector next we have to tweak these settings so it is really fast maybe around this and I think maybe offset around 0.15 let's try 0.2 okay i like this uh, next we have to store a different color to each spline so that later we can assign a different color to the particles uh, based on their spline okay let's add the store named attribute node change this to color and type here let's say color and we're going to assign this a red color for this or duplicate this node and change this to let's say blue this is the animation part uh, for the base object uh, for the cells okay next we are going to convert this into a mesh so let's first convert this curve to a points then change this to evaluated so we have these points then we can convert these point to a volume and then volume to mesh so we have something like this uh, you can increase this resolution if you want for more detailed mesh i think it is a bit heavy for let's keep this around 64 okay uh, next we're going to add the ks uh, smooth node uh, to smooth this mesh and you can also add the set shade smooth node to make the shading of this mesh smooth
okay nice so let's bring this color information uh, from the curve to the mesh surface okay so we need to add the sample nearest node then we're going to add the sample index node change this to color let's connect this to the index and here we're going to add the named attribute node and select the color then we're going to store that onto the mesh so let's add the store named attribute node change this to color and also call this as a color okay we have this error okay because this node only work uh, with the mesh so let's change that uh, to a mesh and plug that into this now the error is resolved and we have the color into the mesh okay so this is the animation and base geometry for the cell this is the mesh part for the cell and next we're going to add the particles so let's add the ks particle system and also combine this with the base mesh so we have these particles and they are uh, falling down so we have to change the forces inside this press tab you can go inside this group so first we're going to delete the gravity we don't need that we're going to use the turbulence force okay so let's first change the mission and we want all the particles should be emitted at the first frame so we have a, a lot of particles we're going to make the surface density zero and we're going to add the particle volume density because we want the particles in the volume of the mesh okay next we're going to decrease the radius of these particles let's see now Okay. the first thing is that we have to keep these particles inside this mesh so we're going to use this mesh as the mesh volume okay so let's connect this to the mesh volume and enable the mesh volume now all the particles are inside the mesh uh, but we have to also enable the avoid option so that it consider the size of the particles now they are completely inside the mesh volume so now let's tweak the turbulence force around maybe 3 and scale maybe around 2 nice and another force we can add is that the particle particle collision so particle collision force node provide the collision between the particles and we're going to also enable the avoid by the size not by the distance so now we have these interacting particles and they are moving with this turbulence force okay now let's see the color of these particles so if we add the ks particle info node you can also add this node uh, from this uh, category so you have this and if we see the color of these particles it is white the color from this uh, meter is not transferred to the particles because these particles are inside the volume not on the surface so we have to manually transfer the color we're going to add the sample nearest surface node and we're going to get the color from the surface of the meter color and plug that into the color now if we refresh this see these particles has the color okay so let's delete this and next we're going to shade smooth the psychospheres and also increase the subdivisions and we're going to also enable the material for these particles so let's go outside this next we're going to add the material to the mesh so let's add the set material node and we can create a material for this go to the shading let's create the material so this is for the cell so let's add the material here and if we go to the shading we can add the colors the color that we have stored onto the mesh that was the color attribute and if we plug that into this we have this color so now you can see that it has really sharp 
boundary between the red and the blue. Uh, we can slightly blur that. So let's duplicate this node, then add the blur node, and then add the named attribute node, and select the color. And you can increase the iteration around maybe, or maybe 10. Okay. Now we have this smooth transition between the red and the blue. Nice. And similarly, we have these particles. And for the particles, we're going to also change the material. Select the particle material. We don't want this. We want principal shader for these materials. And here you can play with the, like for the roughness and other settings of these particles. Let's enable the mesh, the cell mesh. Now we're going to tweak these materials. So the first thing we want is we also add this color to the emitter or for the emission and add the strength around 0.25. And for the alpha, we're going to use the layer weight and layer weight as a facing. And this should be around 0.25. So this will provide a really nice blur boundary of our these uh, cells okay and i think we have to slightly tweak the saturation of this color let's add a hue hue saturation node and decrease the saturation and we have to also do that for the uh, particles hue saturation and make this around 0.98 or maybe 0.95 I think 0.9 is fine. Now we have this really nice animation for these cells that are merging together. Okay, and another thing I would like to show is that suppose you are happy with this mesh as well as these particles so you can bake them together okay and the bake node and bake this animation okay now this is playing really fast another thing you can do is that you can add the solidify modifier so that will add a really nice uh, wall to these cells maybe around the negative two five negative point negative point zero two okay see you have this wall for these cells and this will only affect this mesh not these particles because these particles are instances okay and for the lighting i use various simple method i just add a uh, two area lights one is above the cells and one is uh, below the cells okay something like that and you have this and you can also uh, play with the this hdr image so let's add a different this one and let me bring these lights something like that and you can also play with this hue so if we add a really strong depth of field we get this really nice uh, microscopic effect maybe 0.15 one three five. I think point two five is fine. Point two. Okay. So this is the entire effect. Uh, this is it uh, i hope you learned something from this video you can get the project files from my patreon page so thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noting bye